Hi there, welcome to be a Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is battery life tips and tricks. So my first tip for you is buy the Surface Pro model that suits your battery life needs. Depending on the model of Surface Pro that you have, you might find that your battery life varies. For example, I have the i7 model of the Surface Pro 4. And the i7 model, whilst it's very powerful, tends to get fairly poor battery life. On the other hand, the lower end Surface, the M3 processor model, will get far better battery life than the model that I have. My second tip for you is to use Battery Saver whenever you're not connected to the charger. To access Battery Saver, just swipe in from the right hand edge and you'll see in the action center on the side, Battery Saver. I recommend going into the Battery Saver settings. I do that by pressing and holding on the Battery Saver icon. That's a right click with touch and go to settings. And that'll take you straight to the battery page in the settings application. In here, you can select 100% along this slider. And when you do that, Battery Saver will automatically kick in whenever you take your surface off of the charger. So you'll find that Battery Saver works in a few ways. It'll dim the screen slightly. It'll also throttle down the processor on the device to run a little bit slower so that it consumes less power. And Battery Saver will also slow down some of the background processes in Windows so that they don't consume as much power. If you're using a program like maybe Word or Excel or Outlook, you'll probably find that you won't notice the difference between having Battery Saver on or off. If you're using a program maybe like Adobe Photoshop or Premiere or something like that, you will find that the Battery Saver setting does impact the performance. So you might want to turn it off if you're using those programs. But bear in mind that you will lose battery life by turning that feature off and accessing the full processing power of your Surface Pro. And the next tip is to think about the web browser that you're using. When you're on battery power, one of the most common tasks that we use our devices for is browsing the web. The Microsoft Edge browser consumes a lot less power than the other browsers that are on the market. For example, browsers like Chrome and Firefox. So if you can, using Microsoft Edge, which is really designed for this mobile environment on Windows 10, will save you a lot of battery life. So if you found this tip helpful, remember to tell us by giving us the thumbs up. If you've got friends or colleagues who have a Surface Pro, share this tip with them. And subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips. There's a new one out every Wednesday.